So here we are with the second variation of the Wong Sing Jones Shangri-La jacket. And you'll notice that, yes, I'm the lucky, lucky girl who gets to model for you. Aren't we all so thrilled about this? And I'm only doing this, not because I have an ego the size of Florida, but because I keep getting emails in saying, well, you say you make all this stuff yourself. Well, we don't see you in it. And also Jeremy's nagged me into it. So I said, all right, enough. I'll wear it. Okay, I'll model it. So now you fortunately get to see me in one of my pieces. Woohoo. So this one is really straight out of the envelope kind of uh, Shangri-La jacket. I've made a few changes to it, but I'm going to show you how to do them. And they are really, really, really quick and simple. They're really, really easy. But what I've done with this is I've made this into a shirt jacket. And a shirt jacket is really, well, as the name suggests, it's like a hybrid of a shirt and a jacket. In this case, it's a jacket style done in a shirt fabric. And this is actually just a piece of random linen that I got off eBay a while ago. And when I ordered it, it, it what attracted me to it was that the mention of metallic threads, because you can't see it, it's actually got sparkly silver threads all the way through it, so it's mine or mine. And the description said it was a medium weight linen, so I thought, jacket, obviously, it's going to be a jacket. When it came to me, I pulled it out of the package, I was so excited, and I opened it, and I was so disappointed because it was so lightweight. And I knew it was really a shirtweight uh, fabric. So I washed it and dried it and put it in the stash, and every time I walked past it, I kind of kept thinking, yeah, one day, baby, you're going to be looking really good. And then, when I was making the variations for these clips, I suddenly thought, the very thing, I thought, the very thing. And I knew it was going to work as a shirt jacket. Now, the pluses of the shirt jacket are, 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 are many, they really are. But I can tell you now, at a personal level, I'm standing here in Florida, end of June, it's about 95 degrees outside. Uh, walking around outside, it's like walking in a sauna, it's so humid. And so rather than wearing a jacket, if I have to go and do something kind of business-likey, I'm going to die in a jacket, I'm going to melt. But in something like this, it's really a shirt. It's really a shirt, it happens to look like a jacket, so you get the best of both. So what I decided to do with this, we're just kind of do a little few little tricky things to it, just to zhuzh it up and make it not the same as the other jackets that I'd done. Here are the things I did. The first thing I did was I didn't use the contrast trim, but of course I wanted the same depth on the collar and the revere in the pocket. So I'm going to show you how to do that, how to add the, 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 kind of the trim so it's a cut on look. And the other things I did was I made these rather fabulous little matching uh, floral corsages, which I love. This is totally me. I wear these all the time. And frankly, I don't care if they're in or they're out. I like them. I'm making this stuff. I'm going to make them. So what the hey? So I'll tell you how to do those as well. But the main thing I wanted to show you was the shirt tail hem. Now, when I was cutting this, I cut it about two inches longer at the front on the pattern. And about, you can see, about three inches longer at the back. And then I shaped it for this kind of shirt tail hem thing. And this is the easiest thing in the world to do. Here is how you do it. You make up your jacket right to the stage before you've done your hem and before you've put the pockets on. This is kind of really key. And then I grabbed a shirt. And this is just a shirt I had in my closet. But it has got, you can see there, a shirt tail like that. And I literally just popped it on. I folded it half and half like this, centre to centre. And I popped it onto my jacket, folded the same way. And just kind of pin traced around. And then I very roughly pinned the hem up in this shirt tail shape and tried it on, kind of eyeballed it a bit, tweaked around, and that was it. Trim off the excess, lay it back down again, and cut yourself a facing about three inches deep. You can, of course, use self-bias for this just to face it. Now, I didn't interface the uh, facing on the hem here. I wanted kind of quite a floppy, soft shirt look. But, of course, you can do that. It's really up to you and the fabric that you're using. So that's a really nice way to make a shirt jacket. It's just a little, you know, zhuzhy trim. Oh, and just so you know, shirt tail styling is going to be huge the next few years on things like skirts, dresses, jackets. So you heard it here first, and you can do it very easily. The other things I did, as I said, I made the rosettes, which look like this, and they are the easiest thing in the world to make. You just need a strip of your fabric, about inch and a half-ish wide. I used the selvage on one edge, and I cut the other edge with pinking shears. And then I ran a row of zigzag stitching just by the pinking, to stop it fraying too much, and right by the selvage, and then gathered it up so you've got a long strip of gather along one edge. And then you just stitch it into a spiral, round and round and round and round. Cover the messy middle bit with a self covered button, and then the back like this. The back has got a square of fabric, and I've sewn a safety pin on. And I've sewn a safety pin on, uh, I would normally use a brooch back, but on this one, I may want to pin it into my hair. And if I do, I need that kind of room on the safety pin to do that. So these are really, really good things to do, especially if you've got some scrap, you make your own kind of matching accessories, which is really nice. And the final thing to show you is how to add the kind of uh, contrast trim, so it's no longer a contrast trim. Here's how you do it. Easiest thing in the world. You take a pattern piece and you mark the seam line. 
And then you take your contrast pattern piece and do the same. And all you do, watch, chunk, you just add them together like that. Pin them together and it becomes basically one pattern piece like this. And you can just lay it down and use it as normal. But it means you no longer have to have all your jackets from this jacket with the contrast edging. You may want it, you may not. It's really, really up to you. So those are the tips I can give you for this kind of thing. I think a shirt jacket's really useful, really nice. I've been ever so good. I've made this a couple of weeks ago and I haven't worn it yet. I've been waiting to do this filming and now I can get to wear it, which is great. But I want you to really have a look at the next variation I'm going to show you because you're going to love that one too.